Okay, so here it is, the Neo N003. Uh, I have a screen protector on that came with the phone right now. Um, it's my first Chinese branded phone and I have had it for almost one month now. And I must say that I am truly amazed by what this phone is offering for only $259, which I paid for it. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is uh, the screen which is a full HD 1920 by 1080 pixels and 5 inches across so it has the same uh, resolution and pixel density as uh, the Samsung Galaxy S4 and the uh, image quality is uh, great, colors look vivid and white is also really white and uh, the viewing angles are also great on this device I have also tried it out in bright sunlight outside and uh, the screen is definitely bright enough uh, but in many cases a big screen comes with the drawback of battery draining pretty quickly but uh, not with this uh, because the battery has a capacity of 3000 milliamps, which uh, again you can compare to the Galaxy S4's 2600 milliamps. The battery is good for roughly one to one and a half day between charges in normal use, which for me contains a 3G constantly on, browsing the web, maybe around an hour a day and maybe playing some games or using GPS for directions. This phone came pre-routed um, which is nice and I have installed a TVRP recovery menu so I can do system uh, backups whenever I want to. I have not uh, had any issues with slow GPS positioning or uh, text messages not being shown in a feed, which some users have reported. But you can read all about uh, this in the thread about the Neo N03 in the XGA Developers Forum. I have put a link in the description. Please go there if you have any questions. Uh, further, the design of the device is very sleek. Uh, and there are no cracks or rattles, which is nice. And the overall build quality is uh, very good. It's on par or even better than most Samsung smartphones I've tried out. The rear camera is a 13 megapixel unit uh, with an aperture of f2.2 uh, and it takes pictures with really good quality. Again, it's the same camera resolution as the Galaxy S4 has. The front facing camera is a 3 megapixel unit. It sits uh, to the right of the speaker and so does also the uh, notification LED. Low light shooting is also decent but unfortunately the flash is not that bright. It has uh, backlit uh, capacitive buttons on the bottom, which is nice. Uh, the unit runs Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean. And there are no bloatware or add-ons on top of Android. It's just uh, pure Android, uh, which I really like. Um, it has a MediaTek CPU clocked at uh, 1.5 GHz and uh, along with 2 GB of RAM. And the CPU is uh, the MT6589T based on ARM's Cortex-A7 architecture and although that's not uh, the newest architecture from ARM, the device feels uh, really snappy and can handle multitasking with ease. Um, 
I personally often have many different tabs up in Chrome and I never experience that the device feels slow in any situations, whether playing games, watching videos on the internet or whatever. Yeah, and there's the Antitu score. Um, it also comes with 32 gigabytes of built-in storage and also a micro SD card slot which lets you add up to additionally 32 gigabytes of micro SD card storage. And the sound quality from both the telephone speaker and the loudspeaker is good but nothing special. Let's play a video that you all have seen, I think. feature MNHL which lets you plug in the device to a TV or a monitor through a USB to an HDMI adapter and it also has a USB OTG so you can plug in USB devices such as hard drives or a keyboard etc uh, through a micro USB to a USB adapter. The only downsides with this device is to me that it does not support 4G LTE and also the stock launcher was a bit sluggish but that was easily fixed by downloading Nova Launcher from the Google Play Store. Another thing I noticed is that uh, I have uh, on my screen I have a uh, dead pixel it's really hard to notice. Yeah, the only time I notice it is when uh, turning on the device when the screen is black. Uh, but as there are over 2 million pixels on this screen, it is hardly ever noticeable. Let's see. I don't think it's. Yeah, you're not able to see it in this video, I think, but it's somewhere around here and it's a dark bluish pixel. Actually, it's right there, uh, but it's almost impossible to see. Um, there are many online stores that sell the Neo NO3. I personally ordered it from yoymart.com for $259 including free shipping. Uh, I also didn't have to pay any toll or any fee for it when it shipped to Sweden where I'm from but I guess I was just lucky. Yeah so basically that's my thought on the Neo NO3. Uh, if you have more questions, please refer to the XDA Developer Forum link that I have uh, put in the description. You can find everything that I've gone through there. Well, that's it for me. Thanks and goodbye.